take a look at how we can use kinesiology taping to help with lymphatic drainage. As always, what is our intention? What are we trying to create or achieve by using the tape? It all comes down to our assessment, both subjective and objective. And if we establish that there's bruising, inflammation, swelling that's uncontrolled or needs to be managed, then maybe our goal becomes helping with that. What comes to mind when you're doing your assessments are things like swelling, pain, acute, inflamed, bruised, edema. These are all the key words or key observations that would lead us to think that perhaps a lymphatic drainage type taping is what is going to be needed. So before we do look at the process, let's look at the lymphatic system itself. Without this becoming an anatomy and physiology session on the lymphatic system, we just need to understand what its role is, and one of its key roles is to help with the removal of interstitial fluids in the body. Also, what's key to note here, and why I have the picture here, is the location of those lymph nodes, as that's going to be really important in terms of our process with taping. If we think about swelling in the ankle, perhaps, or in a part of the body, what we want to do is we know that tape creates a recoil, a pull on that skin and on the connective tissues underneath. So intention is to create a pull towards the lymph nodes to help with that drainage. So we need to understand where the nearest lymph nodes or exit is. Here on the bottom, we see the popliteal lymph node. So popliteal, popliteus behind the knee. So again, if we're looking at the lower leg and we're trying to create that recoil, we would want to anchor towards the back of the knee. So that recoil, that pull, that flow is in that direction. Next up, in terms of the thigh coming to the thorse, so we have the inguinal lymph nodes. Okay, the inguinal in the groin. Moving up the body then, we have auxiliary lymph nodes under the armpits and the cervical lymph nodes in the neck. So again, depending on where the fluid is, where the bruise is, where we're trying to drain to, that's going to tell us the best direction for our anchor, where to place that anchor so that we get a recoil towards it and towards the appropriate lymph node. So recapping that, in theory, what are we trying to achieve? It's an area where we have excess fluid, extracellular, interstitial, blood from bruising, etc. We want to create a lift and a recoil towards lymph nodes because we want to create space and flow. So just helping things to move and drain quicker and more efficiently. So if we look at this picture here, we've got a sprained ankle. We see that swelling, that puffiness around the ankle, the client can't walk. We want to be able to create taping on as large a part of that sw swollen ankle as possible and drain it towards the back of the knee. That is what our intention is before we add the tape. So the process becomes clear to me. We need to anchor towards the nearest lymph node, so it doesn't have to be on it, just in that direction. So here, towards the back of the calf for that ankle is where the ankle will be. We then want to add a light tension onto the tape, following the target tissue. So we tend to use fan cut tapes for this kind of lymphatic drainage because we want to cover a broader area to make sure that we're affecting as large an area as possible. We don't want the tissue on stretch because we just want to create this continuous lift and recoil to an area over a period of time until that inflammation goes down. And then we simply anchor with no tension on the tape at all. Let's look at an example for ankle inflammation following a sprain. This ankle is swollen both sides, so I want to create a taping that covers as much of the whole ankle as possible. So I'm going to use two fan cut lymphatic drainage here. So they're about six inches long, cut into four or five thin pieces at the ends. So I anchor towards the back of the calf because I want that lift and recoil to be towards the back of the knee to the popliteal lymph nodes. My client's not putting the tissue on stretch, they're relaxed here and I just add a light tension onto the tape as I lay it down across the area. So again, just a light tension on the tape and then we anchor with no stretch at all. Again, pull away the tape, back of the tape, add a light amount of stretch and lay it down. 
So very straightforward. And as you can see, by cutting it into the four pieces of fan here, four, definitely easy and less fiddly than five, if you're using a five centimeter tape, allows us to cover the whole of that ankle. Again, this one has swelling on both sides, so I'm going to apply one to each side, and this just depends on your client. So again, I'm going to anchor with no tension on the tape towards the back of the calf, as I want that drain, that lift, that recoil to be towards those popliteal lymph nodes. I then peel off the back of the tape, add a light amount of stretch, and lay it down over the target area. Anchor with no tension at all. So again, peeling off, laying down with just light stretch coming off the back of the tape, and then the end with no tension at all. Okay. What's really important with any taping as well is that you rub them down to make sure that you activate that adhesive and to make sure that it sticks well. So just rubbing down each piece as we place it on the skin. And when you're finished, just making sure that you rub it well to ensure that it sticks because those thin fans get caught more easily. So that same process can be used for bruising. So if someone has an awful lot of bruising um, and it's stubborn, it's not going away, or even if it's just in those early acute stages, then again, the, this lymphatic drainage taping can help to create that lift and recoil towards the lymph nodes in question. So here it's on the lower leg again, so I'm anchoring towards the back of the knee, towards those popliteal tendons, and I'm going to just place it over the bruise. So I'm going to peel off the back of the tape. Remember, no stretch on the target tissue, just a light tension or stretch on the tape itself. Anchor with no tension. Again, peel off the back of the tape, adding a light amount of stretch on the tape, lay it down over the target tissue. I end anchor, no tension. Peel it back, add a light stretch, lay it down, anchor with no tension. Again, peel it back, light stretch, lay it down, anchor with no tension and rub it well to stick. So in summary, the process for lymphatic drainage, anchor with no tension on the tip in the direction of the nearest lymph nodes. So behind the knee, inguinal lymph nodes, auxiliary under the arm, the elbow, or the cervical in the neck. Then, for the active piece of tape, add a light amount of stretch or tension to the tape, but no stretch on the target tissue, and lay it down directly over that target tissue. And finally, anchor the bases with no tension and no stretch on the tissue, rubbing the whole thing well to make sure that it activates the adhesive and sticks well to the client.